Welcome back. Sorry. What's our situation? Let's just say Shiva and Titan's little spat hasn't made things any easier. And? It's as you thought. The Crusaders have sounded the retreat. Then we follow. We're down a man, Sergeant. If we return without Shiva's head, our fate will be no different from Beast's. I'll take my chances with the Iron Blood. At least then I might die fighting. After you do, that is. I won't be dying. Not today. Then it's settled. No dying. Now, if you don't mind, we have an army to chase. A chance encounter. Hey, everyone! Lula's Jello, and welcome back to Blue Play's Final Fantasy 16. The full release is here, and apparently, it just immediately jumps right into the action following the prologue. The demo was the prologue. I have kept that save information, so we are picking up exactly after that just unbelievable cutscene where the Icon of Fire, who I do believe was Clive, fought and presumably killed in a very violent manner the Phoenix, which was also Joshua, Clive's younger, very ill brother. And of course, Clive's father was also killed in that brutal assault with the mother obviously playing some strings in the background. Now, what do we have here? New iconic abilities. The iconic abilities Scarlet Cyclone and Heat Wave for the Phoenix are now available for acquisition and upgrade on the abilities tab in the main menu. Do not forget that once acquired, new abilities must be equipped on the gear and icons tab. Now, why do I have the Phoenix abilities? I was the Phoenix shield, but I wasn't the Phoenix himself unless this is just made for the shield we'll have to take a look in the gear and the icons How do they tab. expect us to kill something that can do this they don't only the girl holding its leash so the girl holding its leash we found out early on we are after the shiva's dominant the individual who can summon and control the icon oh boy that motion blur is rough so currently i do have it on graphics mode but right now that motion blur is something atrocious. I might actually need to switch back to the frame rate to see if that uh, calms that down a little bit. I don't like motion blur in general. I have heard that Square Enix does plan on releasing a patch that'll allow you to turn off motion blur, but that's, oh boy, that's too much. I can't do it. I'm sorry, I thought it would be nice just to see the game look as nice as it could, but let's see if we can make that look just a little bit Oh, you know what? Never mind. That actually didn't make a lick of difference. So I'm going to leave it on graphics for now. Okay, so I accidentally went to the map here. We're learning about the Nysa Defile in southern Dalmechia, an arid labyrinth of high-walled ravines. The Republican army utilizes this terrain to funnel invaders into narrow choke points where they can be easily slaughtered by a handful of defenders. The one thing that I intend to do with this playthrough is to really take my time. I haven't played a Final Fantasy game in earnest since Final Fantasy X, and before that it was Mystic Quest for the Super Nintendo. I really do want to slow this down, take my time, learn it, maybe even master it, and really pay attention to the characters and the story. One thing that they pointed out in the demo was the idea of ATL, I think it was called Active Time Lore, meaning you could essentially pause game even in, in the middle of a cutscene to learn about the characters and the setting to really keep you engaged, which I think is such a cool little feature. So we've looked at the map, but let's see if there's anything new in the journal. So Chance Encounter, the year is once again 873. That's why it started with 13 years later. Clive has returned from his reverie to the chaos that smolders in the wake of Shiva and Titan's terrible encounter. Tiamat reminds Wyvern of their mission and that there is no escaping the inexorable fate of the Branded. We are the Branded, of course, hence the brand on our face. In terms of items, 
do have my potions and my high potions. It actually looks like you start with the consumables from the demo, which is odd only because that means I carried these for 13 years. My attributes, nothing too fancy there. It does mention I have the Imperial set now, however. When a bear dies in service of the Sambroqua Imperial Army, it is more likely his sword, not his body, will be retrieved from the battlefield that it might be provisioned to the next unwilling volunteer without additional cost to the crown. That's deeply disturbing that they value the sword, the weaponry, over the individual. A crude strip of leather fitted with a pocketed iron belt. And let's see. Understand that it'll be lost when the poor lad eventually falls to an enemy blade. And they, the Sabroqua Imperial Army provide their frontline pawns with a pair of simple iron bangles that might stop an enemy blade if the bear can raise his arms in time. I'm actually imagining them just trying to put their arms up as one final attempt to, uh, well, not take that sword to their person. So, Rising Flames, we've already been using this. Summon a fiery wing that deals damage and can launch lighter enemies into the air. We've been learning that, or been using that rather. And then Scarlet Cyclone. Spin quickly, creating a ring of fire that burns all enemies in range. Now this one lower damage than Rising Flames, but it does have higher stagger damage. Three out of five stars compared to the two. Now can I go into these to learn more? Maybe I just have to look at the gear and icons. So there's my blade and my armor. Here we have, okay, Phoenix Shift. We remember this. This is closing the distance between myself and the target. Very, very nice. And so it is just Rising Flames and Scarlet Cyclone, okay? Now I have 186 ability points, which means I could actually improve some of these. So for example, Burning Blade, I could master it for 180. Or do I want to learn more? Down Thrust was the only one I hadn't learned at the time. And it may make sense to do that, but what is this? Oh, this is Heat Wave. So this is the other one that they said I could now learn. Summon a projectile dispelling wall of liquid flame before launching several deadly shockwaves. Wave force is amplified upon dispelling magic. Oh, I think we need to play with that. So, oh, and then to upgrade it costs 620. Now, what does it mean to lock an ability? Oh, because you can reset. I see. Well, that's nice. So I could actually reset that if I want to and get those ability points back. But if you don't want to make that mistake, you can lock it. Very nice little feature. So what do we not want to use? Well, let's look at Heat Wave. Heat Wave is two damage and two stagger. So pretty even keel there. Let's, let's try Heat Wave in lieu of Rising Flames just because it's something new to try out. Right. Let us get a move on. So I turned up the sensitivity to four on the camera up and down, and that just seems a little bit too twitchy. I'm gonna try bumping that down. It was on two, I thought that was very low, but maybe maybe two is right. What is three? Three feels good. Three feels like a nice little balance. Now I know that some of you are going to be saying, but blue playing on graphic mode, that means they try to lock it to 30 frames a second. Yeah, that's true. And while I am wholeheartedly in agreement that 60 frames per second should be the standard by which we all play our games, and I would always choose a steady 60 frames per second over resolution, from what I have read and seen for myself, while there is 60 frames per second during combat, which may prove to be important, it's not a locked 60 during exploration. In fact, it drops into the 30s. Which means that if you are used to 30 in exploration, maybe you can get used to it in combat. I don't know. We may go back and forth just to see what uh, what it looks like. All right, another stone skin tonic increases my defense. All the old trails are gone. It'll be hell finding a way out. Do you think a retreating army and their dominant will fare any better? <sighs> now I don't seem to be able to sprint at least not from what I can tell Great the flames. it looks is that a body on that rock it sure looks like it oh yeah bodies everywhere Oh, 
they're they're prepping me for something. I do hope this game rewards exploration because it's a beautiful world and I do want to explore it. Titan has knocked the fight out of our iron blood friends. Where are the rest of them? That can't be the main host. Wait. Our fortunes have turned, Sergeant. It's her. The dominant. Are you certain? The crystalline orthodox is a backwards faith for a backwards people. In the Iron Kingdom, they teach that dominants are unclean aberrations born of blackest sin. Only their priests are allowed to perform the rites of priming. And I see many. We end this quickly. Shreyskot! Adionir Sagarid! Please. What alvation now can Alad Scully asked? Okay. Care to kill some iron blood? Gladly. Wife, you focus on the target. Understood. You want me? Okay, you want me to focus on the target. Great. Okay. Oh, get out of there. Whoa. Okay, so she has a bit of a phoenix ship with her as well. Nice decision dodge there. Oh, okay. Book recovery, though, that's very helpful. This time. That's gonna be a tough one for me to get that timing down for sure. Yeah, I am struggling quite a bit compared to the, uh. <laughs> compared to the. There we go. Uh, demo, that's what I was trying to say. Okay, we got a partial stagger. Use a high potion real quick. Okay, let's do a little heat wave. Beautiful. Looks like we almost have the stagger, the full-on stagger. There we go. All right, let's see what kind of damage we can do. That's decent. Okay. Much appreciated. <laughs> I just may never get that. There we go. Oh, Blazinga. Or Blazaga, rather. Fucking icons. Icon? She's not even fully prime. Be gone. Oh, get out of there. Uh, yeah, we need a high potion. Uh, we almost got the half dead. stagger again. Uh, 
Okay, half stagger, good. Got knocked her out of that move, which is good. Wasn't great at that, but it didn't feel bad. We got, ooh, a frozen tear, and then some other good stuff. So frozen tear. And as she fought, she shed tears of ice, which shattered in the blood-stained earth below. A Dalmachian soldier's account of the Battle of Nysa, Year of the Realm, 873. And then Steel Silk. A rare case in which hyperbole has played no role in the item's nomenclature. Steel Silk is every bit as strong as steel, yet soft as silk making it a popular choice for tailors tasked with crafting durable armor that does not hinder move. Is she dead? I don't think so. Well, what are you waiting for? No, no, that's not you, not here. Oh, I'll bloody do it then. Alright, anyone we should take out in particular? Dominant. I know her. Know her. Look around oh, you. beautiful finish. Do you think any of these animals can? I need you here! It's over. Uh -oh. Alright, you wanna try and attack me? Done. I won't ask you again, Wyvern. Take her head so we can be done with this. I... I can't. I won't. You 
would betray the Holy Empire? Betray? I don't recall ever pledging allegiance to your Emperor. My service may have been bought with this brand, but not my loyalty. I just fight to survive. And you no, think I don't want to fight Tiamat. The Empire will have our heads if we return empty-handed. So if you won't take hers, I'll have to take yours. I tell you, Sergeant. I'm not dying here today. And neither is she. Let's find out. Wow. Did I con slice? Ooh. Is that something that I can do? We almost have the stagger on him. Let's see what we can do. Not much, that's what we can do. <laughs> Really terrible getting that stagger combo. Wyvern, have you forgotten who plucked you from the front lines? Who trained you? Who gave you a name when you had none? I think I want to switch the dodge to circle. That's something I can do. Team Phoenix shift is the R1. I've always had a name, uh -oh. and I've not forgotten it. Still clinging to the past like a torn blanket. Whoa, that was a lot of damage. Okay, heal up. As you should have 13 years ago. Good stagger. Oh, it seems like mixing up the attacks is how you get the combo multiplier up. I thought it was strictly just number of attacks. Too slow. Not this time. Yeah, I keep trying to dodge instinctively with circle. Which I just did again. Good recovery, good. What have I just done? Oh, did I just target you? Huh, interesting. I can target with L1. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Not this time. Once again, keep trying to dodge using the wrong, wrong ability. All right, let's go for dodge and then Phoenix. Take your head. Too slow. Could get a stagger here soon. Not this time. Good stagger. Okay, let's mix it up. For nothing. No one. And I will not fall by your hand. That was decent. Alright, let's use a potion though. Good half stagger. Catches me with that one. Not this time. And that one, okay. Heal up. Too slow. 
And we should be able to finish it with this, I think. By a traitor's blade. The amount bested. Yeah, that was... Boy, there's going to be a lot of new ones to these fights. Take a level up, up to level 11. Very nice. Got up to level 10 in the demo. We're right and meteorite. The most, this nondescript lump of rough hewn stone is but a nuisance upon which to stub one's toe. To the blacksmith, however, it is much, much more, for the metal contained within may be fashioned into inexpensive yet durable gear favored by warriors across the realm. And then meteorite, just as drops of molten iron fall from a smith's oven to the floor to cool, so too do they fall from the celestial foundry where the gods forge their divine instruments of war, or so it is believed. We call these otherworldly outcastings meteorites. Hugo dear, my proud desert lion. With that you had taken care when chasing the hare. I expected more from the mighty Titan. You put the Ice Queen on her back, no doubt. But you'll have to work harder if you're to claim this prize. My lady, the thunder. We'll be hearing more soon enough. You always were a fucking snake, Sid. Gather the men. We have work to do. Jill, is it really you? Oh. And who's this fine hound I see before me? A fine hound who saved your life, that's who. 
Torgal. Aye. His name is Torgal. You two acquainted? Well then, you won't mind taking him off my hands. Funny. I'd always pictured you as more the chocobo type. Clive Rosfield. Come now. Fleet as flame, fierce as a wildfire. That there was the blessing of the Phoenix. I'd heard rumours that you'd survived, but I never paid them much heed. <laughs> Calm down. I didn't come all this way for your handsome mug. Now her, on the other hand, she seemed worth muddying my boots for. None the worse for wear. Still, might be best to get a second opinion. Back her up. Oh, not another step. <laughs> I mean it. Well, I'm not about to leave her here. Not one with a warm bed waiting. It's all right. You're welcome to join us. You do want to help her, don't you? Uh, Sid, if we aren't back soon, none will have our heads. <laughs> I'll explain everything once we're back at the hideaway. Come on. I need to remember to use the ATL more, don't I? So here we are, right down south here, making our way up to the hideaway. Central Storm Deadlands. The withered remnants of a once verdant alley long consumed by the blight. One would have to be either extremely foolish or extremely desperate, or an extremely desperate fool to make this wasteland their home. I don't think there's anything else I can actually hover over right now. Tilt and rotate. Oh, you can actually look at it from different perspectives. I like that, especially because the topography is so detailed. That's great. Well, I guess let's travel to the hideaway. Ah, okay. So ATL, you don't just press the touchpad, you actually have to hold it. So let's learn a little bit more about who we're working with. So right now, the current location, we're just in the storm. We have Sidolphus Telamon. I guess we can learn about it. The westerly of Valisthea's two great continents. With its frozen northern reaches, its temperate marshy midlands, and the searing heat of the south, it boasts a breadth of climes and cultures not seen elsewhere in the known realms. Then we have Sid, or Sidolphus Telamon, cornered by a battalion of Iron Kingdom Crusaders in the depths of the Nysa Defile. Clive thought his end was nigh until Sid appeared and spirited him and Jill away to his secret hideaway in the Deadlands. And of course we have Torgal coming back a little bit older, Clive's, Clive's faithful friend now fully grown. After the tragic events at Phoenix Gate, Clive believed that Torgal was lost to him forever. However, their paths were to cross again some 13 years later when Torgal's new master, Sid, came to Clive's rescue in the depths of the Nysa Defile. Despite their long years apart, the two knew each other as if not a single day had passed since their separation. And I'm going to guess the pronunciation is Getz. One of Sid's trusted allies, a gentle giant who has a warm word for everyone like him, and Jill. Now this is an interesting one. Jill, did we know that she was a dominant? I don't believe we did. I don't think it was hinted at in the prologue back when we were children. But it seems that dominants are identified at a very early age and they're tested at an early age, just like Joshua. And 
Well, when I knew Jill back 13 years ago, I would have thought she would already have been through the test. Jill Warwick, dominant of Shiva and Clive's childhood friend, in the depths of the Nysa Defile, the two came to blows at the orders of the armies that enslaved them, Jill fighting to defend the priests of the Iron Kingdom, Clive obeying the Empire's orders to take the head of Shiva's dominance. And I do like that it actually says they are only doing this under orders of the armies that have enslaved them. Neither of them wanted to be fighting uh, for really any reason. Clive's obeying the Empire's order to take the head of Shiva's dominant. Exhausted from her tilt with Titan, Jill came close to falling to her assassin's blades, but was spared at the last moment when Clive's memories of their time together came flooding back. And lastly, we have the Deadlands, barren waste bereft of Aether, where no life stirs. Magic is all but unusable. Here, both earth and water are stained black, preventing any seed from quickening. In recent years, the blight has spread ever more widely, displacing whole nations before it, driving once peaceable fauna to violent desperation and leaving silent devastation in its wake. Not much further now. But we're in the middle of the Deadlands. Keen eye, you. The blight suck this place dry. Meaning no trees, no birds, and no magic. But it also means no neighbors. The last place anyone would think to look. Home sweet home. But how do you survive without magic? How does anyone? Hard work and a bit of nelf. You must be starving. We grow them here, believe it or not. Hmm? Suit yourself. You're back. Ah, it's are you? And this is the dominant. How cold since we found her. I was hoping you might give her a look over. All right. Goots, get her upstairs. Well, but none will... Don't fret about Karen. I've taken care of her fee. All of it. She's the best healer this side of the belt. You've nothing to worry about. Go on. Have a look around. I'll be in my solar. I... Certainly would not have guessed a Goots was that pronunciation. Pressing the touchpad opens a detailed map of your current area. Main scenario destinations are marked with that particular symbol. All of Sid to the hideaway. Um, I don't think we'll be doing that just yet. I think we have some pretty interesting places to explore. I'm going to check the ATL really quickly to see if there's anything new. We do, actually, already. Sid's Hideaway, a refuge hidden in the blighted lands of Central Storm, from which Sid operates his secretive community of freed bearers. While survival in the Deadlands is widely considered impossible, a combination of near-indestructible fallen ruins and considerable ingenuity have led to the establishment of a safe haven, where those who rally to their leader's cause are only just about able to eke out an albeit meager existence. Arja, resident Physiker of Sid's Hideaway. Harja is an expert in all manner of medicines and medical intervention skills that are indispensable in their Deadland home, where they cannot call on healing magic. After Sid brings an unconscious Jill back to the Hideaway from his expedition to the Nysa Defile, she is placed into Tarja's care. And the Fallen, yeah, this is the first we've heard of the Fallen. An ancient yet highly advanced civilization whose relics can be found across the length and breadth of Valisthea. 
The material from which these relics are constructed is far sturdier than steel and cannot be worked by modern methods. So the people of the modern day have elected to build inside and around them instead. I like that they just had to, you know, use it uh, as is. No modifications here. Still hungry, are you? Might have some around here. Oh, Torgal. People planing some wood, all right. Making it nice and flat. And so, oh, we got a blacksmith. The Surly Smith. Huh. Yeah. Um, can I show you the meteorite or the warite I've collected? Yeah. Understandable. Uh, another newcomer. You mind the rules round here, or our next chat will be through the bars. All right, thank you for that, Jailer. You know, I might actually turn the sensitivity down back to the default of two. It still feels just a little bit too snappy. The washing Although, floor's all mended then. It'll hold for now. Truth be told, if I could actually differentiate and allow the higher sensitivity to be used in combat and then for exploration and walking around town to have a lower one, that'd be great. Oh, the botanist. Sid once told me the blight doesn't kill the land. It only makes her forget who she once was. She'll eventually remember her purpose. All she needs is a little reminding. get on board with that. You also have a mark on your face like I do, but it's not the same symbol. Your brand. Lady Tyre might be able to see to that. You may have been born a slave, but you're a free man now. That's the thing, I wasn't born a slave. These apples are all foul. And it's Tarja, I guess. Not Tarja, not Tarja, Tarja. I so quickly forget pronunciation. He's a soldier then. Be surprised if he wasn't. The smell of war is thick about him. That and I'm covered in blood, armor, and a sword, so you know, wasn't too subtle. You think he'd have time for a nip with old August before scampering back to his solar? But no. Long what do we have here? <laughs> okay, we have a weather vane on top of the chocobo. Symbol of a. Is that a liar? That's a lyre, musical instrument. It almost looks like a, like a jukebox, like a fallen jukebox. Got a water pump. So this is the bar where everyone just hangs out. A landlocked bear. If you can read, don't let Otto know. We'll put you to work on the ledges too. I feel like there's probably worse side gigs. When lightning struck his yoke did break, his life his own again. With thunder's roll he knew his fate and would fight it to the end. Well, what do you think? I woke this morn inspired. That was quite lovely. Is there anything else? Down here before I actually start traveling up to see Sid. Well, let's travel up this way. And completely avoiding it. Does Careful this just. You. I've spent the whole morning on these steps. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Uh, does this just go down into the bar? It sure does. Okay. Just working on a pet project of mine. Though she's not above biting the hand that feeds her. All right, 
I was hoping we might try and solve the mystery of poor Clive Rossfield. A bearer of the Sambrequa Imperial Army sent behind enemy lines. With orders to wait until it turned into a brawl, then slit the Dominant's throat in the chaos. I didn't know it was her. How could it be? And so, to save her neck, you slit your sergeants, then set your sights on the hills. Conveniently forgetting how the Empire deals with deserters. Because with that on your chop, my friend, we both know you won't be getting far. You've fallen a long way, Lord Rossfield. Of it said that I'm a poor host. What do you mean to do with her? Do with her? Why nothing? Her life is her own now. If I wanted to use her, do you think I'd be talking to you? All I want to do is help. Dominance like her, branded like you. Of course, the realm doesn't approve, which is why we live in a cave. And it's also why we need help. From Branded who know one end of a sword from the other. What say you, Clive? Will you join us? Sid, was it? I trust that you'll do right by Jill. But until my brother is avenged, I must walk my own path. Avenged? My brother was murdered by a second dominant of fire. The Phoenix is evil twin. Oh, bother me. Another rumor proven true. I only stand here today because of Joshua. Thirteen years I've waited for this chance. I've slept in filth, drunk from a gutter, killed more men than I can count. You're right. The Empire will not suffer a deserter. This will be my best opportunity. My last. Which is why you should join us. I told you I'm not interested, I know. One of my scouts sent word there's a group of branded fugitives north of here, in the Imperial village of Lost Wing. Among them is one he believes to be a dominance of fire. Is he certain? What say we go and ask him? This doesn't mean I'm joining you. Let's make ready, then. You'll find everything you need down in the main hall, as well as a few things you don't. Have fun. So, it's quite possible that I ran around for nothing and now everything's opened up. Curious, anything change here? Oh, second icon of fire and a bear. So, I do want to learn about the bear. A person with the power to cast magics without a crystal. Okay, that's... Very, very interesting. In Valisthea, men and women who awaken as bears are enslaved. That's not as interesting as it is depressing. They are marked with a brand upon their cheek and used as tools, a cheaper alternative to the scarce and precious shards. That's what we saw in the prologue. People were, were pruning the shrubs and generating water. Not of their own accord, they were actually enslaved to do so. This system of slavery has persisted for centuries and has become so ingrained in Valisthean life a few take pity upon the bear's plight, seeing them as less than human. Sid's kind of going around and, and freeing some of these folks. That's pretty awesome of him. A fire-aspected icon that first emerged in the year of the realm 860. 
when Imperial forces attacked the Rosarian stronghold of Phoenix Gate. Clad in infernal flame, the fiendish creature flung itself against the phoenix, overpowering the icon with a strength and ferocity never seen before or since. I'm still barely convinced that we are that second icon of fire. It's downstairs. Try not to get lost. Dang. Don't think I really needed that snark. I'm gonna check your bedroom out real quick. I've heard that there are a lot of Easter eggs relating back to older Final Fantasy games, and uh, sadly, they're gonna go probably amiss with me simply due to the fact that I've really played Careful them. You. I've spent the whole morning on these. I know, and you're gonna continue to spend the morning cleaning. No, anything else? And how did you like this? Opened up. The jukebox, for example? No. What about the bartender? <gasps> he, he's in. Oh no. Go towards it. Perhaps you can help. Sid asked me to make ready for our mission. How does one go about that here? Uh, well. Uh, there's old Nan's place. Uh, oh, uh, on second thoughts, uh, you maybe want to see Blackthorn first. A blacksmith? To the forge it is then. Oh, wait, no, hold up. You'll be needing this. Blackthorn won't take no notice of you otherwise. Might not anyway. And Goots, what did you just hand me? Continental Rum. So is that actually a quest item? It is indeed. A noisome spirit better suited to stripping oil from a painter's canvas than consumption. Grants overworked concerts a few rare moments of sweet oblivion on their long, arduous sea journeys north from the continent. Fancy a mug of Kenneth's coldest when we're done. Are you Blackthorn? What if I am? I'm no time for idle chatter. I'm not here to talk. I'll be accompanying Sitter Lostwing and I need you to see to my equipment. You could be accompanying the goddess Grieger to our holy bedchamber for all I care. I'm not lifting a finger for you. Is that so? Okay, so we can hand it over. I sure will. Do you want that or not? I can take it back. Oh, damn you, Goots. All right, all right. No need to be hasty. Let's have a look at you. <laughs> I doubt that lock has stay a Moogle's fart. Bloody Imperials. They'd rather see their bearers dead than kid it out properly. I'll do what I can, as a favor to Goot's mind. So, am I also a bear, but I'm also the branded, or branded and bear, are they the same? Was I a bear turned assassin? Forging. The crafting of new gear as well as the upgrading of existing gear can be done at a blacksmith, as long as you have the recipe and the proper materials. Okay, so you have to do some recipe hunting. Select a highlighted item from the list and hold X to craft upgrade okay so we have to improve our iron belt what's funny is that it tells you what it goes up to but it doesn't tell you what it began at i think it was 20 but also when did i get iron fillings oh no we're actually crafting this my, okay, never mind. So this is reinforcing. This is the upgrading. I'm crafting an iron belt plus one, so I'm just skipping the regular version. More leather than iron, it is nonetheless considered an improvement from the crude war cording worn by Ackerman, 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 Nacco, probably Ackerman and Acolytes. And the belt sees a square. You want anything else? You bring your own materials. Ah. I'll bear that in mind. Thank you. So he gave us the iron uh, fillings. A uh, word of advice. Don't let Sid decide what's best for you. Mm. 
notices. When something has changed in the hideaway, a notice will appear in the upper right hand corner of the screen. In addition to stock updates for Karen's Toll and new forging recipes for the Black Hammer, there are also notices for new quests, new missives, and many other things. A dot icon will also appear in game as well as on the local map to indicate recent updates. I like that. Good feature. Very good feature. I suppose I should thank Goots. Well, I will go back to Goots. However, you have something new, and I do have some crafting material. Make it quick. Let's ask about him about him. But well, I ain't the cook, am I? Oh, okay. I, you're not going to read the rest of it. <laughs> Though if you've tasted Kenneth Brown, I might as well be. Look. Oh, you just say the first little bit. Sid needed a smith, and I needed a smithy. Call it a marriage of convenience. Doesn't hurt that the forge here is the hottest this side of hell, or that it works without magic. I won't have no bear suffering for you me. Got anything needs repairing? Got anything that needs repairing or retooling? You bring it here. I, I like his attitude towards the bears. I like everyone's attitude towards bears except the Imperial enslaving them. Along with your own materials and any scraps left over, I keep. What'd you want? So let's see here. Oh boy, we got 27 out of 30 Weirite. And we could have uh, created a broadsword plus one, which is an improvement in both damage and stagger. Okay, so down at the bottom, I can see the overall improvement. So if I were to make a broadsword plus one, then I would get an extra 15 to both damage and stagger. All right, now let's look at just crafting items right now. I could make iron bracers, which would only give me an extra eight defense, and that takes 24 out of the 27 weirite that I have, and a frozen tier. I'm thinking maybe save that weirite for a broadsword. What about reinforcing though? Oh, interesting. So I do need the old component. So in order to make an iron braces plus two, oh, it does actually also give me a little bit of HP, very minimal HP, but I in theory could make this and then turn around and make, hmm. That's a tough one. I don't think so right now. I'm not gonna, not going to look for just the small numbers for now. Let's see if we're struggling, then we'll upgrade if need be, especially because I don't know how common or uncommon these Anything items else? are going to be just yet. Wait, did I actually, hold on. Sorry, I gotta go back oh. into it. Sorry, what it be? I wanna look at reinforce, I looked, okay, yep. So broadsword. Oh, the iron belt I could also upgrade, and then there's the Anything iron bracer, all right. Seeing as you're new, let me share a word of warning. Keep your hands out of the stores, or I'll cut them off and crate them with the others. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, I need teasing. We feed the hands to the dogs. <laughs> oh, I like you. And we learn more about Blackthorn. Resident blacksmith of Sid's hideaway, sullen and secretive sort, who prefers to drown his woes in drink than to share him. Eh, maybe we'll get him to open up. We'll see. Let's uh, let's leave Nan alone until after we've talked to Goots. The gift worked. You have my thanks. I uh, uh, <laughs> come on, nearly there. Blankets, quick as you like. <laughs> All right, you making comfortable while the bed's made up. <laughs> well, you're just gonna stand there. Someone fetch some water. I'll get the bucket. Yeah, you go and see if I don't needs out, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, me? <sighs> what the hell have I got myself into? Well, I have a feeling I'm going to have a lot more of the uh, active time lore to interact with. 
that's gonna have to wait. So this has been part three of Blue Play's Final Fantasy 16. This is going to be a very long series. I can only see it. I'm gonna have a blast and I hope you do too. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you get a chance to play this for yourself. And if not, I just hope that you've enjoyed spending some time with me. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time.